Hey everybody, NecroVMX here, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Now we're going to continue along the road to get to the upper part of the Bionis Lag, and that's also going to give us the Miguel Road, which is the last um, location in the lower portion of Bionis Lag. We already have all the landmarks, so that's good. Because mm -mm -mm, last time we went that way, now we're going this way. Hey, the rain's cleared up. That's nice. A humming plum. Dim, dim, dibbity, dim. There it is, Lim Miguel Road. This will bring me to the upper area. I need to. Okay, now the upper area is not super huge. It's got five landmarks and uh, two areas, two locations. Unfortunately, one of the landmarks is where Juju is. I don't know how close I can get to it without... Uh, I believe there's a boss up there, too. I got myself a Queen Locust. Oh, I guess we're fighting Mechon, huh? Come on, let's do it. I'm going to enchant so they can hurt it. Ooh, that was too early. Too early is worse than too late. He's down. He's done. We're in a big chest. Cool. Got myself Hunter gear. I'm gonna check that out. Why not? I probably don't need it. I probably already have it. Yeah, it's crap. All right, move along. Juicy broccoli. This broccoli is acceptable. Queen locust. And we got ourselves a moth crawler. So we are officially on the upper area. Really cool looking shit up here. Um, I might as well go towards like where Kasharpa Falls are, which is really that right there. I don't know if I can get that location without getting to the top of the falls. I can try. Let's see if the Sardi is dangerous or not. I mean, if the kind of attacks, it's also only level 15. I'm not worried about it. Rusty Bolt. Yeah, the Kasharpa Falls location is, is that waterfall, but I I don't think that's the falls that I can get to the top of. There's two waterfalls and one of them you can get to the top of. I don't think this is the one you can do that. Oh, there's the location. All right, so I got myself a hill firefly. There's some mad ice. All right, so there's also, if I go to the other side of the lake, there is a, uh, what am I seeing? Oh, that's weird. I don't know if that's a graphical glitch or what. Hill fire form. Um, there's a there's a landmark over in that direction. This might have been an emulation thing. I don't know. So far, this game has been emulated excellently. It was weird. It was like I was seeing fish, but it was like that. Was, there was no like translucency. This is actually the exit of um, Bionis Light, where you go into the next area. But. I'm not going to be able to go there yet, Juicy Broccoli, but I can get the landmark, which is like right here, which is like right here. There it is, Basque Cave Passage. All right. Now, another area I want to go to is the other, only other location is the Traveler's Rest. It's sort of a little bit of a precarious area, but as long as you're not running and jumping around like a maniac, you should be able to get there pretty easily. Wait, am I going to be able to get out of the water easily? It looks like I need to find myself a less steep incline, uh, which is shitty. Oh wait, that's the island. I'm not even looking at my mini-map like I should be. I should just head this way. Yeah. I don't think I gotta worry about the Sardi. Why can't I hit B to cancel? Oh, because I was swimming. So 
So basically, Traveler's Rest is an area that's, you know, it's, it's not directly above the windy area, the windy whatever the fuck it was called, but it's, it's near there. And you can easily fall down to the lower area. And it's, it's high up here, so you, you could take a shit of damage. There's also some NPCs in that area, and some of them give quests, so there's that too. Juju's over there. Not worried about him just yet, though. Oh no, did I get too close to the thing? I was trying to skirt around it. Alright, I guess we're doing this. Juju! Juju! Hold on! I'm coming! Uh, maybe Wait. listen to Shaw. He's psychic. He's got the Monado. So he's seeing what's gonna happen, and it ain't good. Juju! Splat. See, that would definitely kill her. But look. Another new symbol's appeared on the Monado. I guess we're doing this. Can I save her? Yes, yes, you can. Of course you can. There's that voice again. Forced her out of the way so that the tentacle didn't grab her. Shoot. Its tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. Wait for my order. Brian? I guess we're moving the stereo along. That's fine, I'm fine. With Leave that. it to me. So obviously we're getting a new power, but you get the cutscene to kind of show you what it's all about, too, which is cool. Plus, you don't always get to do all this cool Final Fantasy thirteen looking shit in battle, so... Amazing! I didn't know you could do that! You did it, It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move. All right, let's fight this thing. All right, so speed. So basically, it makes you fast as fuck. All right, we should take out as many of these tentacles as we can. Let me enchant because it is a mech on. As you can see, the tentacles not super tough. Ooh, perfect time. Oh, like this does a lot of damage to Mecha. Yo. I want to take out as many of these tentacles as I can, though. Alright, that's just the big guy now. Who has aggro? Oh, and now we get to cutscene. Because of course we do. Is it down? Not quite. It's still at half its health. Huh. More tentacles. And now it goes to the upper area. Get back here. It's good to get this location, uh, not location, but landmark out of the way too, because it becomes pretty inaccessible because it's a very extremely ridiculously powerful monster that appears here a little bit later too. Let's get it. Here we go. Put the enchant on. They're doing one damage. Use the buster. Away so I can hit you from behind. Here we go. We can 
definitely do this. I also gotta make sure that enchant doesn't wear off. That was good timing. Alright. It's time to do it. Alright, let's topple this big bitch. Topple. This too bitch doesn't have a green one. Perfect. The important thing is he's tough. Perfect. Now it's right time. Splitter. Come on. This guy's pretty much toast. Use Buster might actually end it. Ooh, almost. He's done. He's done. Right. And he's got Juju. You never made breakfast, kid. I'm holding you to that. He deserved it. I don't usually agree with hitting kids, but he deserved that one. Okay. <laughs> she hey, smacks him and then she like hugs him. The it's accurate. What's up? Well, it's just that that can't have been the mech one from my vision. Exactly. It looked different. Yeah. Wasn't it supposed to be that one with the face? I guess we changed more than we expected. Hmm. Shulk? No, nah, Shulk knows what's no. up. Something's not right. There he comes. <gasps> Juju! What's no, up, dude? It's not him at all. But this one's got a face and all. It's a different faced mech. You know what's interesting? Oh, I can't talk about that till later. I can't talk about that till way later. Never mind. So, mysterious face. He's level 25, and we don't stand a chance. Not even the Monado can hurt him. We have to topple him. So the best thing to do is just stay alive until you can try to topple him. Oh, Charlotte was toppled. I could have... Oh, Ryan, rather. Than I could have helped him. I don't think it's going to help, though. The problem is I'm not gaining any. I don't think you're supposed to win this one. Cutscene. When the HUD goes away, you're not supposed to even really be able to scratch him. You'd have to topple him, but you can't without a chain attack. Juju! Juju! You pile of junk! Let him go! Right. Better watch your back. Got it. Cheers, shock. Yeah, see, the Monado can't really scratch these things. Why can't I use the Monado? It's... It's only the ones that have faces. But... I can still see what it's going to do. Just like before. Yep. No, just can't hurt him. You got there, Dancing around the place. That's the Monado's power. Won't matter, you still flesh and blood, and I reckon you're nearly done. Behind you. Shulk, leave this to me. Don't take him out. Yeah. If only Shulk could do that, right? <laughs> Of course it is. It's not even a Monado. Charlotte! 
There's something that I really want to say about this character, but I can't. It's such a big spoiler. And I almost said it too, and then I was like, wait a minute. Big spoiler. It's fucking off. Bitching out. It's your lucky day, little boy. But that luck won't last forever. Huh? <laughs> I'll keep hold of this brat. If you want him back, you better come to Colony 6. I'll come to Colony 6 eventually. I'm really hungry. You! You're gonna pay! It's such. I think you fight him a few times too. It's such a great boss battle against this asshole. Shut up! Shut up! No! And he's out. I think somebody'd help her up. Like, what the fuck, right? They just standing there staring into the sky. She almost fell down. They could have lent her a little bit of a hand. I'm saying, whatever. Yeah, we'll save it. I wasn't trying to get sucked into that. I thought I could skirt around it, but I guess the uh, the area around it's pretty wide. Little flashy backy. <laughs> Gado. It's only been a year since the Battle of Sword Valley. How? How did the numbers grow so quickly? Well, they are machines. I mean, come on. Clearly, come off an assembly. Too great even for you, Gado. This fucking guy. Atharon. Medic Shala. Here are your new orders. Atharon looks like Dalsim from Street Fighter Five. The evac ships. Where Dalsim's got the beard. You will be in charge dude. of the evacuation. Uh, but. You must realize the ships can only carry so many. We must stay behind and fight to protect those who remain I know, in good. Colony I know. 6. Uh. I'll be fine. that chemical warfare on me like I'll you did earlier. Keep my mind Brought him in here and he went off like a bomb. Safe. <laughs> oh, my phone's going off. I'll be right back there. I'll go check Promise it out. Me. Charla. Promise that you'll meet us outside oh, the colony. Hi. Huh? I, I guess I have Just to make sure you get out of here alive. alive. Yeah, phone was nothing important. I promise. Don't worry. Gado. Gado. A promise is a promise. And until I see you again, I will protect everyone. Kind of gives you a little uh, insight into her nature. No! Let me protect everyone! Shut up! I keep them real safe inside my belly! She clearly didn't say that, but her imagination very, very active. You. Colony 6, inside a cave. There's a whole huge area. You've been there, come on. Oh shit, they brought us all the way back to the refugee camp too. Well, it's a good thing that I got one of the landmarks up in the upper area. Unfortunately, it's hey Are you all right? not... Well, I might have the, the one where he, he was, I'm not sure. Well, he did let her, like, hang off the side of a cliff for, like, way too long. So maybe she don't want to talk to you, right? Now. How long have I been out? Huh? How long have I been unconscious? Four hours, I'd say. Uh, I've got to get out of here. Gotta get out of this place. Hold up. Mind if we go with you? I mean, Ryan's you dressed for it. into their base, right? We want a piece of them, too. Really? Truth be told... We were going to leave without you. But the thing is, I get roughed up a lot, and we don't know anyone else who can use ether. Plus, come on. I... Thank you both. That gad old guy, he ain't got shit on Ryan. You know you want Ryan. Alright. Is 
I wonder if the mic is picking up Kiv's snoring right now. I never imagined I would go back to Colony 6 like this. I'm sorry. Lost myself for a minute. We can get to Colony 6 from the valley where Juju was taken. It's this way. Yeah, I know. I ain't worried about it right now. Alright, so let me go ahead and... See if I can warm myself back up. I know I can warm myself back up there, but oh, good, I do have Spiral Bat Valley. All right, so let's head back there and actually try to go to the Traveler's Rest that I was trying to go to before. Yeah, see now, um, Immovable Gonzalez is there. He's level 90. Is gonna be level if we can get to him. We can actually get above him by climbing up from the bottom, but I ain't worried about that right now. But let me actually go where I was trying to go, which was to the Traveler's Rest, which is off in this direction. Seeing if any of these guys are dangerous. Oh, we're being attacked. We can definitely do this. Oh, no, 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 no. How's this? Now it's worth it. Your lifesaver. Bring it on. Right. Your lifesaver. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. That was a beautiful. That was perfect timing. Yeah. Nice going. Leave it too hard. What I miss? I was aiming for the big rock on that. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Bunch of treasure chests. Let's see. Slimy Tom. That sounds gross. Uh -huh. This is a big chest. Hunter Gauntlets. I'll have to check that out. And I just got the Hoarding Treasure Achievement, which is 500 experience, not bad. Uh, let's check out... What was that? Hunter Gauntlet, I think it was? Let's check it out. And we get a Zahar. She benefits the most from it. Alright, like I said, going this way. Like I said earlier, there are some NPCs in this direction, so I could totally add them to my uh, registry, and also they might have quests, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Just making sure if it's safe to jump down there. Uh, there is an item right there, I might as well go and grab it. Red Durian. I seem to be getting a lot of those. Come on, it's like right here. Oh, there is a quest there, too. I might as well head in that direction anyway. What do I got here? Pion Stone. It's Traveler's Rest. You came here just in time. Gurga lost friend. That doesn't sound good. I think we should get the sword as soon as possible. Yeah, we have to do something. Gurga really worried. He went to look up for food for dinner, uh, but he not come back. Do you have any idea where he could have gone? Garugu tells him not to go too far. He always get lost. Garugu think he go very far. He has no sense of direction. He's probably completely lost. Garugu already looks so hard, but Garugu cannot find him. Please help Garugu find friend. So, uh, Batu Bugu, which is... He's actually near Regal Lake, which is really far from here. Friend's name is Batu Batu. He blew with stiff fur. No problem. Leave it to me. That's right. We can handle it. All right. Well, I got the traveler's rest. All right. So let me work back to Spiral Valley. And I'll show you what the next the next step is. Now there's another um, landmark that's actually near where the other exit from this area is. So there's two exits from Bion uh, Bionis Leg. They're both you know, on the upper area. One leads to, like, the next big area, and the other leads to Colony 6. Uh, which is actually kind of the next big area, but, you know, the, the other the other way is the one after that. So we're going to go up in this direction and just get that location done. Any 
need to go more north, but I see items here. I can't help but try to pick them up. They might be something good. They might be something rare. A do 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 do. A pione stone. Two of the pione stones. That was really not good. So that thing right there, that's that's the landmark we're looking for. Okay. The Zach's guidepost. Okay, so now, um. Oh god, here we go. They're attacking. I didn't quite nail that, but alright. It's one down. Oh, we have a new item. Shaker Edge, right. They have to be toppled for them to really do damage. But whatever. I mean, now he's toppled. That day's effect lasts so little, it's it, it, it's like a few seconds at least. Oh, they're dead. All that for one chest. At least it's a big chest. Alright. Oh, there's the other Turkin quest I need for Materials Quest 2. Alright, so now I gotta go further down this way. It looks like I might be battling some more Tarkin. Mm, 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 mm. Mothcrawler. And a Humming Plum. We need to get up, up, up. As you can see, these Turkins are kind of everywhere right now. Basically, what we want to do is just keep going north until we basically hit the, uh, the wall, and then we start heading to the east. And this is to get to the top of the other falls. And you kind of want to avoid getting into scraps of the enemies this high up, because some of them can knock you right over the edge. And that, that could really fucking suck, you guys. you'd call it, sort of, kind of, but not really. Sniper turret. Devious gravity. I really don't want to get into it with any means. There's a bunch of Turkins here. I'm not really worried about them. They might attack me, but I, nah, I didn't even bother me. Probably because of my level. So you just head through this tunnel. Keep going. Yo. I haven't jumped in a while, but I like doing it. This is quite a bit of a thing here, huh? There's even an item here. Mother Devious Gravity. There's a heart to heart up here, too. As you can see on the mini map. Believer's Paradise. And I got the Explorer achievement as well. Wait, don't I need to kill these wisps for something? Let me just check. I feel like I needed to kill wisps for something. That's a nice big chest, let's see. Glowing wisp fluid, I need five units of that. I might as well kill them while I'm up here. Since this is where they're appearing. That's two units of it. Pion stone. Let's see. I badly have the characters for this, but I can't see it yet. Any other wisps? There was something there, but I want to grab this. Red Durian. Here it is. Oh, okay, 
I was like, I don't want the treasure to fall down there. Alright, I got it. Okay, small insect legs. This is the other kind of like waterfall thing. So there's no waterfall. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Alright, now there's one more area, which is where the observation platform is. I'm not actually sure we, how to get to that, though. It might actually be from the lower area that I get to the observation platform. Let me just check real quick. I'm not, like, really sure on that. Because it's a secret area, so sometimes the secret areas can be kind of a bitch to get to. Oh, okay, you do access it from the lower level. I know I'm at 31 minutes, but I want to get this map completed. It's near the Daksha Shrine, actually. So we'll go down here. Uh, Daksha Shrine's over there. The closest warp point is sadly the Kamos Guidepost. It's okay. So this, this one's gonna go a little long, guys, but I really wanna fill out this map. Mount Torta. <laughs> it's almost like somebody saw this thing and thought it was a small mountain that looked like a turtle, and they called it Mount Torta. Torta. See, unfortunately, yeah, I was at the Daksha Shrine, but then I kind of pieced out of there. Some of those secret areas can be a bitch to find. The, uh, what I just found, the, the, the power, Believer's Paradise, that's actually a secret area as well. Got myself Mad Eyes. It was one right there, actually. Look at that. Humming Plum. Moth Crawler. Right. I should actually check the collection, collections for this area, too. And Oh, that's not it at all. It's gonna be here, right? Yeah, we collect the PD for this area, because I feel like I've got a lot of different things. Wow, there's only like one thing I don't have for Bionis Leg. Taro, Juicy Broccoli, Spicy Cabbage, and Hard Lotus. That gives me a Pelt Top. Well, if it's equipment, let me check it right away. Oh, I'll give it to him. I have a Quark Armor. Uh, I'll give it to him. She already has a diver top, so, all right. So, gooseberry, red durian, walnut grape, and humming plum, which gives me paralysis too. All right, fire tarantula, queen locust, moth crawler, hill firefly, and white ladybird gives me grand gauntlets. Let's check those out. Because usually when you get equipment from these things, it's usually pretty good equipment. Definitely give that to him. And the where is the old one? The cork gauntlets. I'll give those to you. All right, you're almost dressed, Ryan. Um, I don't give a fuck, man. He does not care. All right. Okay, so I got Matt Ice, Blue Sky Bark, and Piony Stone, which gives me blind resist one. Parts we got Winding Gear and Rusty Bolt, which gives us. Strength up two. There's really no sense in doing those until I get the one that's missing. So. Alright. Yeah, so like, you go to the Daksha Shrine, and then there's like a, a, a cliff that leads up to a secret area of the upper area, which is completely divorced from uh, the rest of it. Just head, make sure I'm headed in the right direction. This is the Daksha Shrine. Alright. I want to look at the map, but I also want to hurry. No, I can see the road. We're good. Because I'm at 34 and a half minutes here, you know. Thankfully, the run speed in this is pretty good. Like, you don't... Like, the areas are huge, but, like, you, you when you're running at full speed like I am now, you, you, get, you get through things quickly. It's just a shame the Doxa Shrine is just an area, not a landmark. I mean, it'd be cool if it was both, but... Devious gravity. I mean, there was still one thing from Colony 9 I hadn't collected. I might want to look up what it is and see if I can trade for it somewhere. Just so I can like, finish out that area completely. Or did I get it already? I might have. Was it was it Colony 9 or was it... No, I, Tefra Cave I completed. Colony 9, I still... There's one bug I don't have. But I, I could look it up at some point and see if maybe, just maybe... Is that something I can actually fight? You know what? I'm not going to try and get into it. I'm just trying to end this. 
I'm not gonna go over. Well, I'll go a little bit over there. Just to get that clean focus. Alright. Oh, there's even a quest marker there, too. I didn't see that before. Might not have had the quest. So climb down slash jump down this. Oh, God. A little vertigo there. Quest markers for, to be honest. Oh, I think I know what that is. Oh god, I can't fight these things. They're way too dangerous. Okay, good. They're fucking up. All right, let me check. That might be part of that kid's armor. Which one attacked me? Tempest Vaughn's definitely won't attack me. The Dark Hawks is the only one that will, and he's by sight, so I'm gonna sneak behind him and just grab this. Twisted Gun. Alright, so there's one more piece of Mementos of Lost. I think it's one more piece, it might be two. I know one of them is as far as Sunatol Marsh. Okay, now we're in the upper area, and there's this secret area here. Observation platform. Alright, do I have the full map now? That's the thing, I should. If not, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't have the full map. What the fuck could I possibly be missing? All right, that's that's annoying. Okay, wait. Let's check landmarks for lower area. Ragnarok Canyon Path, Javos Rock Rest Area, Kamos Guy Pant, Refugee Camp, Red Little Bitch South and North Upper Area, Spiral Valley, Zach's Guy Post, Bass Cave Passage, Observation Platform, and Believer's Paradise. Locations for the lower level. Volflare, which is there. Tranquil Grotto. Do I not have that one? No, it's there. Kiss Cave is there. Windy Cave is... Did I not get the Windy Cave? I feel like I did. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Okay. Miguel Road's there. Raggle Lake is there. Villera Hill is there. Row Oasis is there. Guar Plains is there. Turkin Headquarters. I don't think I have that one. I think because that's like down here, isn't it? Shit. Did I miss something as easy as Turkin Headquarters? No, actually, it's not up there. It's, it's up here. It's up past the Row Oasis. All right. I... God, I know I'm at 38 minutes, but I told you guys I wanted to complete this map in this video because I'm not recording another one. Me and Giz are going to go outside after this so he can pee-pee and whatnot, and I'm going to fucking bed. The thing about the Turkin headquarters is I might not be able to get into it just yet. I'm certainly going to try. Because I think there's a gate or something that you need an item to get past. I don't know. There's a quest to go in here anyway. I don't even have the quest. I don't think these guys are going to bother me at level 14. Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, I do see a quest marker there, so clearly I have the quest to go in here. This is the Turkin headquarters. Ah, Alright, that's the location. Let me just grab whatever this is. The clothes. Alright, yeah, that's right. Let me check the map now and see if I have the full map completely mapped out. It looks like I do. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Well, I am going to stop here and I will see you guys real soon with more Xenoblade Chronicles. See you then.